I think there's a great danger for those of us who are in revival circles to uh, desire the effect of revival rather than, as Brother Robert said this morning, the Lord Jesus himself more deeply. There's a gate through which we cannot go, and it quickly determines whether our desire is fleshly or not. And I think we're at that gate at this conference. I think we've come right to it on several occasions, and I think that uh, the Lord is sifting our motives, and that motive would be, am I willing to go down all the way? Am I willing to lay my self-righteousness down? Because I think revival is very attractive to people that are involved in the things of church and uh, you know, for your budget, for your numbers, for everything else that we've heard revival is. But uh, until I'm willing to deal with the effects, uh, until I'm willing to deal with the cost personally that uh, meeting Jesus on an intimate level uh, means to me, it's just words. And I think the test is when we're willing to uh, do what we haven't done here yet go down to our faces together. And that's the test. And, uh, and, and it's very difficult to discern in our own heart, our motives. But uh, the real test for me is, am I willing to deal with the next thing God has said to me? Not what I want him to do out there tomorrow or the next day. The test of wanting his will for tomorrow is doing his will today. And uh, so I've got to go to my face before this conference is over and say, Lord, speak to me. Two ears, one mouth. I'm listening. 